Yo, what's good gamers? Uh, this one is, as a follow-up to the previous video, um, a profession guide um, on how to get Meister or high rank on all the professions. Um, because I, I mentioned about maybe making it and a couple comments said, yeah, do it. So here I am. Um, one thing I do want to sort of point out though first, before we just sort of go into how to get every profession as high as possible, um, is that I'm going to go over some important bits first um, so you kind of understand what you need and how to do it. Uh, because I could just show you Oh, this is the item you need to craft, then do this, and then your Meister, hey ho. Um, but then you won't really understand how to interface with the system, or what to do, or how to gather materials, um, if you're like a new player or returning. Um, and I don't want that to happen, so I want to sort of give you a bit of information first, um, and then we'll sort of go from there into each profession and how it works. Um, so what I am going to do is... Um, the first slide, or the icon I'm going to bring up, is this. Um, and this is a list of some of the important items in the game. Um, that are usable for crafting um, and they sort of apply to all professions There are a couple more that we'll go into as we sort of go through the professions themselves um, But these ones the sort of basic ones that apply to everything um, So the top four you can see we have the basic item crystal the intermediate item crystal an advanced item crystal and a superior uh, These are used in sort of all forms of crafting um, in the profession tab So for smithing alchemy and accessory crafting you'll use all four of these in various items um, for example here you can see um, and they each come from their own sort of system. Um, in uh, the... I need to go to Ardent and show you. In Ardent Meal. Ardent Meal, not Ardent Meal. I said that last time. Um, you can break down items to get uh, crafting materials. Now, you need to have at least one profession learnt to be able to do this. Um, and you will be rewarded with certain items based on what item you put in the uh, crafting thing. And so, for example, if I was to put one of these in, I would confirm it, and then I would get uh, superior item crystals in return. Um, so, intermediate come from 70 to 90. We'll start with basic. Um, so, basic come from 40 to 60 items. And what you can do with this is go to, like, El Naf, as an example, um, and buy some level, uh, like, 60 items from the shop. And then just go to Ardent Mill. Ardent Mill. I keep doing it, man. <laughs> Uh, if we go this way, we'll hop in the shop and uh, talk to you. So I could buy like 10 of these, right? Um, go to Ardent Mill, um, decraft it and get a bunch of uh, basic item crystals um, if I needed them. Um, if you needed intermediate, you could go farm at like a level 70 map. Um, for example, if I need them, I always go to Sky Nest 2. Not Sky Nest 2, Stairway to the Sky. Um, and this is for the intermediate items. Um, for advanced, this is where I go to Sky Nest 2. Um, so we'll go this one, Sky Nest 2. Um, kill these mobs, get the drops, and then you decraft them. Um, and then for the superior item crystals, um, these come from level 130 plus items. Um, so if you're sort of an average player in like um, Arcane River, for example, almost every monster in Arcane River drops Pencilers. Um, and Pencilers can be decrafted for superior items. Um, if you're out of that range and you're in Grandis, of course, Pencilers don't drop anymore. Um, so what I do is I go to uh, 2 5 just because it's a super lazy map. Um, and I'm just used to the rotation and it's really AFK for Dawn Warrior. Um, you can find maps that you like yourself personally and just farm there if you ever need pencilers. Um, but, you know, that's just what I do. Um, everyone has their own sort of little bits and bobs. Um, following on from that, um, we have the Rocks of Time and the Twisted Time. Now these are used in sort of higher level crafting. Um, especially in accessory and uh, smithing a bit more. Um, for example, here we have a rock of time on the timeless items, which are important uh, as we'll get into later. Um, but the easy way to get these, um, Pink Bean can drop them on every kill for normal mode and chaos. Um, and Arcarium will drop them as well. He can also drop special confusion fragments um, and other items for like a Dominator Pendant, the Primal Essence, things like that. And they're also very important. Um, you'll notice the next item on the list is the Suspicious Herb Pouch. Um, that is one of these. Um, now, we use these to get sort of a lot of different herbal crafting items um, that are really good, um, especially for crafting uh, WAPs and EEPs. So they are very important. Um, I've gone over how to get these before on the channel, so I'll put a little card at the top um, for my Freds of Fate guide. Um, but most of the people sort of have these. Um, and then the final important item on this list, at least, um, are the Grand Spell Essences, the GSE, um, and that's these here. Um, GSEs are really important for crafting things like Meister Rings, uh, Magic Whetstones, Magic Emmer Stones, um, and they're important for sort of getting your Meister EXP crafting up fast, 
Um, a lot of monster, every monster in the game can drop these, but it's a very low drop rate. Um, you also have the fine spell essence, basic, um, and mana crystals. All four of these drop from uh, monsters, um, but the grand spell essence are the ones we care about the most because we use those in a lot of, as I said, high tier crafting. Um, but they're very important. Um, the one thing that sort of is important about those is that these are very rare, the grand spell essences. So try not to waste these if you can. Um, but we'll sort of get into that as we go. Um, so first of all, um, another sort of important item that comes from, believe it or not, the home system um, is espressos. <laughs> and you might be like, what are you all about? Um, so these homemade espressos um, are a fatigue recovering item that is free of charge um, because you can get them from a, uh, events usually, um, but also you can pay NX to recover your... Uh, fatigue, um, but these are a free-to-play version of that item, and they're super easy to get. Um, all you need to do is go shopping um, for one of these, an espresso machine. And once you get one, you can click it three times a day, and you will get free coffees. Um, so that means you get 15 fatigue for free every day. Um, and of course, when you roll that and stack it up, you get more espresso machines, you get more uh, coffee per day. You're getting tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of like free uh, fatigue. So fatigue basically becomes a non-issue if you interact with the home system. Um, but that's, of course, if you want to. You don't have to. I just sort of recommend that um, just as a sort of little thing to help you because everything costs fatigue at the end of the day. Okay, with that out of the way, we're now going to talk about professions. <laughs> Six minutes into the video and we're finally doing it. Um, so to start a profession, the first thing out of anything that you're going to need um, is mining and herbalism which is these two here from saffron and from coal um, now these are the base of the other three professions and they cannot get meister they will max at level 10 as you can see here you're zero out of zero on level 10 for both um, but they are important for acquiring the materials and refining the materials um, for example in over here the secret patch uh, area which is for like all of the both craftings um, you have the secret herb patch, the like, places you can go, basically. And there's free materials here. Um, these materials that you get from sort of farming these, um, you will use and refine them to craft different items. Um, and these are really good to start with because you'll have things like silver herbs and silver ores um, that you will mine and use them to craft like various items. Um, the further you go into the professions, like, the more relevant these become because you can sort of get the basic items you need from these. And then craft them into like arrows, for example, which is great for the smithing path. Um, but that's a sort of basic way. Um, the other way to find sort of items that are relevant for yourself is by when you're grinding, and you've probably noticed, um, in various maps you will have um, like these things that pop up. And I'll show you a couple, assuming we can find some. We'll go through the left. This is a path that I usually do when I want to find some... Uh, some herbs or stuff i go through all of like ludibrium to find them you will see them when you're grinding as well in like uh grandis and whatever but this is one here this is a legendary ore vein or mysterious and you simply mine them um and you'll get a bunch of stuff from it so like gold ores dream fragments and then just various ores and stuff um, your success rate from mining out in the wild will determine based on your mining level so when you start you'll be level one of course a lot of things will show up as like a red name Still mine it anyway, because you can succeed and get items. It's just your like bonus success rate will be a lot lower than, say, a level 10. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that like it's pointless. Just do it anyway. You'll build up EXP. You'll build up more items. Um, because the main thing about this is building up as much items as you can. Because then you can start crafting in bulk. Which makes it a lot faster to go through all the various different systems. Um, but that, that that's sort of one of the main things. Is getting a constant supply of materials. Um, because materials matter quite a lot more than sort of most people realize. Um, especially in Reboot when it's kind of hard to get like a stable source because you can't use the auction house. Um, yeah, it's sort of, for instance, I used to like organize them, but then it kind of became a mess when I got so much. <laughs> uh, but you'll get a lot of items from uh, mysterious herb pouches as well. Um, and you can go for ore pouches, but I really, really wouldn't recommend that. Just stick to herb um, and then carry on just mining for the other ones. Um, so that's sort of how to get your mining and herbalism up to then complement your accessory smithing and alchemy. 
uh, because they are sort of the main things that we want because they come with the Meister and then the various items that we can craft from them. So we'll go back to Ardent Mill. Um, and the first one we're going to talk about is Smithing because arguably, in my opinion, Smithing is the most important um, because at rank, um, at max rank for Smithing, um, you will receive a bunch of various different items. So we'll open a Smithing tab. Uh, when we go here into Smithing, the easiest way, um, and it's my opinion, uh, but it's also the sort of most convenient, or close recommended, is go to projectiles and click an arrow, craft, and then just craft as many as you can all the way until level 10. Um, it's, that's basically it. The more materials you have, the better. Um, if you try crafting the higher rank uh, versions first, you won't have an enough success rate. Um, so it's much better to sort of stick closer to your level range and craft. Uh, and then that way you'll succeed more. You'll get higher uh, experience or mastery. Um, and then you'll be able to go up the levels more and more and more and more and more. Um, but opal and silver can be obtained from the first secret herb patch um, or the second one as well. Um, and then you simply do mining and you refine those items. So the raw ores uh, from mining, you then refine them into crystals by using the molds. Um, all of the various items you'll need for each profession will be sold by Knack. So you've got a bunch of basic molds, uh, abrasives, herb bottles, pouches, powders, everything. Knack sells you everything. Um, I usually bought like a couple thousand of them of each and then just kept them in my inventory if I ever need them. Um, but that's sort of easy. Um, once you've got to level 10 on your uh, smithing, what you're going to want to do is craft magic whetstones. Um, that's if you don't have a massive need for um, uh, Grand Spell Essences. It's 10 per craft, um, which is quite a lot, especially if you want to craft Mastering, so keep that in mind. Um, or if you don't want to use GSE, um, you can go into like shoes or gloves and you want to craft the Timeless and Reverse Shoes. Now, you will need Dark Crystals for these and Black Crystals. Um, these are rather rare items, which can be kind of annoying to like farm. Um, so that might you might have end up having to do the magic whetstones anyway, um, but you might have a lot of ores or supply of these if you've just been mining or uh, herbalizing herbalism. I don't know uh, <laughs> while you're uh, you're grinding. So that's that's basically smithing out of the way. Um, if you want to use the Meister smithing buff, which gives you the crit rate buff once you use it, um, I can show you the alchemy version because I have that this. Um, you will need one magic whetstone per usage of the buff. So eventually, if you want to utilize that, you will need to craft magic whetstones anyway. Um, but that's just sort of a, a basic thing. Um, with smithing out of the way, we will go into accessory crafting. Um, and that is this one here. Accessory crafting is, again, really important. Um, the main reason, I would say, is for Meister Rings. Um, because Meister Rings are really, really, really good. Um, if you want to use to fodder into superior rings, which is one of your best in slot rings um, and quite difficult to obtain. Um, I've crafted a lot of these. Um, I could craft 19 more if I had the GSE, but I just don't. Um, but I've used a lot, a lot of these. Um, you can also use Canna's Treasure to do the same thing, um, but Meister rings are much easier to have a stable supply of because the drop rate of Canna's Treasure ring is a bit bad in my opinion, or at least I've been unlucky, but you know, never, never know. Uh, the next for accessory, the easy way that I did um, was at level one, I crafted a bunch of rings and I just slowly and surely went up in the sort of level of ring as my accessory crafting level went up. Um, and you'll notice the material changes, but all of these materials um, can essentially be gathered in the uh, secret herbs. Um, again, as you go up in level, just go up in level of uh, like area you can farm in. Um, and then you'll also get a lot of these while grinding in the overworld. Uh, but that's a good thing. Um, and then once you get to level 10, uh, the items I would suggest crafting. You have your ingredient. Um, again, is the magic emmer stone. I did these. Um, you will use grand spell essence for these, which again is quite an important bit of material. So consider <laughs> what you're doing first before you use those. Um, or, um, and a good one, is shoulders. Um, now, shoulders can be kind of weird because I met a couple of people that didn't actually know where to get the ingredients for these. Um, you'll do the lucky pauldrons and the sharp pauldrons. Basically, there'll be like eight of these that you can do. Um, and there'll be four with like power crystals and power like garnet. And then there's four with black crystals um, and dark crystals. And they use seal skins to craft. Um, now, the way you get seal skins is in Aquarium. If we go to Aqua Road, and there is this map here with freezers and sparkers. And essentially, you just run across this map, kill everything, 
pick up the loot, grab like 200, and then you're done. Um, which is really, really simple. And then we'll go back in. Ardent. Um, but yeah, accessory is really easy in my opinion. Um, because it is literally just rings and then shoulders, and then you're done. Um, but we'll open the UI again. Yeah, there we go. And then you have the seal skins. And then you just do these until uh, Meister. Uh, the higher ones are like they, they give you more mastery, but that's because they use the rarer materials of the black crystals. And um, so if you do run out of those, don't worry about like doing the weaker version. Like, it's still fine, but they both use Rock of Times. As I said, Rock of Times can be a bit difficult to find, um, but don't worry about it too much. You'll have plenty as you sort of like carry on playing the game and grind. Easy peasy. Um, but that then gives you access to the uh, Emmerstone skill, which is rather important for sort of end game bossing. I've never used it personally, but you can. Um, and then once that's done, we will go over to uh, Alchemy. Now, Alchemy is rather important on this one because that's where you get wealth and EXP accumulation potions. So if we open this UI, um, you will then see here, if we close this tab, close this, and then we go all the way back up, all these different recipes that you need. I uh, will close that. And then buff potions, which are the important ones. And then oh, it's basically somewhere in here. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> um, but the main thing to sort of keep in mind of alchemy is it's a lot easier than the other two, in my opinion. Um, I know I've said all three of them are easy, but they are. <laughs> um, but the way you sort of do this from starting level one, or the way that I did, is going to be crafting like the lowest level potions. Um, and then just sort of slowly going up the chain as you go up the levels even more. Uh, but that's literally, that's basically it. These ones are super, super easy. The other way you can do it is by crafting the transformation potions. Um, now, transformation potions are a bit weird in that first of all, you need magic powder, and then second of all, you need drops from the item that you're gonna transform into. Um, so this will depend, like the map that you need to go to for these will depend on what one you're gonna try, uh, make. Um, but the magic powder can be quite difficult to get. Um, some of them come from uh, like extracting and crafting various items for herbalism and mining. As like a random drop chance, you'll get one of these instead. Um, and then some of them will come from like uh, just casual mining out in the open world where they just drop. Um, you'll, if I show you mine, you'll notice I have a lot more of uh, the bottom colors than I do of the top two. Because all of these come from the like uh, drops from the uh, open world like legendary veins um, and all that stuff. Um, but these two, the blue and the brown ones, they come from the crafting variant, which is you craft like an item for herbalism or mining. And then you have a random chance to get this instead of the item that you wanted so it's kind of like varied but yeah if, if you do enough herbalism and mining you'll get some um but it's easier to sort of use the other ones by quite a large margin um but yeah that's kind of it once you are level uh once you're level 10 to go to meister if you really want to i don't really know why you would go meister alchemy i never have personally um, because the main the main reason I use uh, alchemy is just purely to have two potions at once, so wealth and a uh, experience accumulation. That's like literally the main reason I use it as it. Uh, but if you wanted to, you can craft the uh, waps or the eeps um, to get to level ten, um, or you can craft like the higher level transformation potions or defense potions, things like that. Um, but I don't know why you would. <laughs> Maybe for an achievement, I guess. Uh, but personally, I don't really recommend it because there's not really a lot of point in my in my opinion. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. Whoever knows. The main important one to get into Meister for me is going to be smithing. Um, because smithing gives you the crit damage buff, which is super, super good. Uh, like, don't sleep on that. Especially endgame, crit damage is so valuable. Uh, which is really good. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, <laughs> I might have gone a bit too in-depth in, like, the starting bit. But I just wanted to sort of preface how important that actually is. Um, but yeah, man, that's kind of it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, uh, hopefully this kind of helps. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll swap to the other screen just to sort of show that it is done. Um, if you do have any other questions about sort of like different bits in the like smithing or crafting and stuff, just feel free to drop a comment because there's plenty of people that will be able to help down there. Um, and I'll reply to a few as well if I see them. Um, but the main thing to sort of keep in mind is you don't have to do this if you don't want to. The only thing that I would say you have, 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 have to do um, would be alchemy. Because you've got the using two potions, even at level one you can do that. Um, but you need level 10 to be able to reliably craft um, wealths and EXP accumulation potions. Which you might you might think, oh it's only 10% EXP and 20% meso. Um, but that's like 20% final meso. Um, so say you're farming 500 mil per hour 
plus 20 percent that's 600 mil you know just how it works um so they are super important in the long run over the course of the growth of your account because it's like really 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 good um so yeah keep that in mind and we will hop over to the next screen um, and this is just a thanks to my uh i was gonna say patreons i don't have a patreon uh my channel mapler subscriber member things um if you want to see your name up here as well feel free to become a channel member um and it will pop up in the list for me and i'll be able to say thanks to you uh, so big thanks to dimas thank you cheese dog thank you misty uh, thank you michi thank you grappler jenkins uh, thank you woolia reboot uh, thank you particle and thank you father gaming um thank you very much guys i do appreciate it um, and thanks to you for watching um, and as I said, you know, um, if you do have any questions or any comments, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Um, and the community and I will help when we can. Thank you very much. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Slash night, slash evening, slash morning. You know. <laughs> Thank you very much.